Today I'm gonna make a fun and easy DIY project. At least I hope it will be fun and I think it will be easy, but I can't really know can I because I haven't done it yet. Well, I have started and made uh, this as a prototype. And uh, yeah, maybe you already can see what I'm going for here. I'm gonna build a ceiling track system. It's not for my garage, it's for my home office. I don't have too big of a space. And uh, stuff is laying around on the floor and on the tables. So getting it up under the ceiling, it's much smarter, isn't it? This is now sliding in between of these two steel pipes. And I can hang things under here. I will um, make this a bit more uh, clever with the universal adapter. That's typically used for um, light stands or uh, camera equipment. So I can put on whatever smart equipment I want under here. Can't I just buy one instead of building everything? Well, in this um, project, I think it's the DIY part of it is really smart because the total cost here is $60, 600 Norwegian kroner. Uh, if I was to buy a pre-made system, for instance, Manfrotto Skytrack, I think it's called, this would have cost almost $900. 9,000 Norwegian kroner. So it's a lot of money to save here. And it shouldn't be too much work, should it? So, the first job is to make the gliders. Or is it slider? Glider, slider, you know, I'm Norwegian. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong. I will call it gliders throughout this video. So, what I'm doing is I'm using all kind of uh, scrap metal, small pieces I had laying around in my garage. And that's just to keep cost down, uh, make it cheap. This was uh, absolutely no cost for me, just using whatever I had laying around. And uh, a benefit, I made uh, a lot of time to practice my welding skills. And I will not hold my gun. Uh, the welding gun like this anymore uh, but uh, yeah practice makes uh, you better of course and uh, you can see here I'm, I'm wiggling uh, when I'm welding and I'm holding the gun again like that and you will see throughout my welding that uh, they constantly get better at least I thought so the welding wasn't that important when it comes to these pieces because I need to grind them down um, I don't want to have metal against metal for the glider, so I have 3D printed these inserts. And uh, then I need to grind away the welds before uh, mounting them. Here I will also have to grind down the weld to uh, put on the rod in between. And note to self, don't wear a welding helmet when doing overhead shots. The final step is to use my welding positioner. I made it myself, also a DIY project of mine making it easier to weld around our rods. And the gliders are done. And uh, just uh, take a look at uh, this. Isn't the weld pretty nice? So it does help to do some practice with your welder to get better. So then was the clever solution I promised you. I'm going to take two of these and pair them up with this uh, flat bar in between. And I hope your expectation wasn't set too high when it comes to the clever solution I promised. I think maybe the cleverness wasn't really that high. Because what I'm going to do is more or less just drill a hole in this uh, flat bar. Because what I noticed, this spigot adapter is of course threaded on each end. So I just need a hole and thread with the correct threads, 3 8 of an inch. And that's it. Of course, I found another reason to do some more welding. I thought it was uh, better to have some beefy metal where I'm going to have the threads. And you will see here a lot of uh, spatter, all these pearls, I'll come back to that. That is a recurring problem. 
Then I'm just drilling a hole where I'm gonna do the threads. And uh, here I have a smart little trick for you. And that is to just, uh, after drilling the hole, just keep the piece in the vise. And then use the bench drill to start the threading. It's so easy to get the threads a bit angled and not straight into the hole. By doing it uh, this way, I'm uh, always getting uh, good threads. The threading actually takes some time, uh, but uh, I'm speeding up the process here, of course. And uh, then the last uh, step is to just weld on the piece in between. Here you can see all the spatter is gone and it looks uh, pretty nice, but that doesn't last long. The gliders are uh, made. They will of course be primed and painted. But uh, first I want to test them. So I made a test uh, setup here with two of the rails. Yeah, this seems to slide fine just as I wanted it. Perfect. Next job is to make some uh, brackets. I want to have these rails a couple of centimeters uh, under the ceiling. Should be an uh, easy job. And it actually was a much easier job than making the gliders. And that's because I actually bought the material specifically for the job. And I even made some calculation and a template. So I could uh, more or less mass produce the items. I first made one, of course, and then made sure that uh, the length and the width and the angles and everything works. And then I just replicated that eight times because I needed eight brackets. Um, the uh, quite beefy, these uh, brackets uh, make sure that nothing falls down from my ceiling. So they are four millimeter thick. So I cut this uh, groove first where I'm going to do the bend. Then here I'm drilling the holes for the bolts to mount it to my ceiling. The last step is then to put a weld seam in the corners, just to make sure they are not uh, weak at this point. And I'm happy to say that the welds are getting better and better, and these are quite nice, I think. All the, the brackets are made successfully, and yeah, this was actually not that difficult. The next job is to weld on these brackets to the rails. And that is a pretty easy job. I have prepared my rails here so and made some markings. There is one problem though. You might have noticed then when I uh, have welded, there is a lot of uh, splatter from the weld. A debris, small pearls that sticks to the metal. And it's mostly these uh, heavy duty metal bars. The metal quality here is probably not the best. To avoid these small pearls to stick to the gliders or to the rails where the gliders are going, we're trying to protect these using a welding blanket. Yes. And the first rail is done. Perfect. And the second rail is done as well. And this is my hobby room indoor office. Yeah, I use this room to multiple purposes, just as I do with my garage. Well, looking from this angle, 
The room looks uh, quite spacious, doesn't it? But uh, it's just my crazy camera here. You can see I can touch almost across the room. So it's not very big. It's uh, actually two and a half meter usable space in one direction, four meter the other direction. So that's 10 square meters, 100 square feet. And uh, this is the setup when I'm recording here. I have my lights and my camera and uh, it works uh, quite well. But as soon as I'm going to transform this room to a hobby room, I need to place this table close to the wall. And these light stands and the camera, everything is in the way when I'm going to sit here by my desk doing my work. So the plan is to mount the rails up under the ceiling at the, this end of the room. As usual, I'm all alone when I'm doing my projects. So I also have to make sure that I can install this all alone. So the first uh, couple of screws are already added up under the ceiling and I made some cuts in the first bracket so I can just hold the rails in one end. For the next set of uh, rails I have uh, prepared a couple of 3D prints so I can add into the end and then just add on the next set of rails. I do want to have these uh, rails painted. Maybe white or maybe just black, but uh, that will be later. I want to use them for a while to make sure I'm not going to do any modifications to them. And um, maybe it's best to get them powder coated since I'm going to slide the gliders. Slide the gliders? So maybe it is sliders. It should. Okay, anyway. So uh, a powder coat will be much stronger than regular paint. So yeah, maybe that's the way to go. And uh, then it's time to test the uh, gliders. We really love this low profile. You can see here if I take my action camera, now I can put on an adapter here and uh, I can get it really close to the ceiling. While I've seen others rail system, they have a much uh, bigger build volume. But to be honest, I don't really want to be that close to the ceiling when it comes to my uh, studio lights. So I have built this uh, uh, rods, extension rods, just from a pipe I had laying around and then mount my lights under there. I built a bigger one as well so I can join two of these. Yeah, I'll try this one. So uh, as a DIYer, uh, this is like the fun part of the project. You've been building all, all this stuff and you can finally like install it, test it. Uh, and it's a really fun part. If, if, if I just had bought all this equipment, this would be the start of the project, just installing it. So I think uh, those of you who don't do DIY projects, you, you really miss out of the fun uh, of the installation part. Because, uh, yeah, that would just be work for you. This is like more like a reward for me. Here I'm, by the way, showing you some 3D prints for holding the cables up uh, along the rails. Easy to just move this around if I'm gonna move uh, stuff uh, around along the rails. Maybe I'm gonna improve the cable management later on, probably not, but it's time to test the lights. Perfect! Just what I hoped for. Excellent! The next step is then to put on the camera. But maybe I should do a test first. And uh, I know a fellow YouTuber over at the UK, Sam Holland, if you are looking at this, you need to do this test as well on your ceiling rig. Yes, at least it can hold 75 kilos. That's good. So, how am I going to mount my camera? Well. I've added 10 extra bucks, 100 Norwegian kroner to the budget, building this pole that goes here. Maybe just for safety, take another check. My camera equipment is quite expensive. 
I want to know for sure that it can, yeah. Should work. I will probably keep my camera here or maybe there. Uh, this is not my expensive camera, by the way. This is uh, my old one. Something like this, I can uh, mount it. But uh, I can also put it out here. And uh, then I can also turn this around. And then I can do overhead shots. Very versatile. Maybe you noticed it is a bit wiggly. <laughs> I can live with that. So that's the solution I ended up with. And I'm really satisfied. It's budget friendly, very reasonable uh, to build. Well, except uh, maybe these gliders. I'm not sure if I'm going to recommend you build something like that. The rails, very easy to build. If you don't have a, a welder, if you can't weld, you can probably make some money well done. Or maybe you can even screw on the brackets. Shouldn't be difficult to make it. But uh, I have a much easier solution. This one took me 10 minutes to build. So this glider is much better. Something I really would recommend. And it's just a 3D printed part. But it is a bit flexible. And the 3D prints, I'm not sure how strong they are in the long run. So I've also cut a sheet of metal, two millimeters thick. Took me 10 minutes drilled some hole in it. So this one will make it a lot more sturdy. And then I will bolt it with four screws here. Why don't I sit down? And here in the center, I have a quarter inch uh, threaded bolt, which is uh, also very common to use for uh, attaching camera equipment. And I'm pretty sure this is more than solid enough. And uh, yeah, I can, for instance, uh, connect my action camera selfie stick under here. And that's just great. So, I have to say, this uh, just makes it uh, so easy to rearrange the layout of the room. So, what is my conclusion? I would say having a railway up under the ceiling, that's just smart. And I think my setup looks... Wait a sec. I don't understand how people can live without a 3D printer. You really need a 3D printer for anything, like printing these uh, holders for the cable and this uh, second type of the glider and the connectors for joining two of the rails together. Without a 3D printer this project would be a bit more cumbersome. Having a welder of course everybody should have one or at least know somebody you can ask for welding. You could probably make this without welding just bolting everything together but you know then you miss out of a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed this project and would love to hear if you ever wanted to do something similar. Hope to see you again later. Bye bye.